What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs and thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at a city that I don't think we've ever talked about on this channel. And that's amazing because this place sucks. Indianapolis, Indy as some people call it, is right here in case you don't know. It's like dead center in the middle of Indiana. The city was incorporated on September 3rd, 1832. In the US, most people know a few things about Indianapolis. You know, they kind of know where it is and kind of know what goes on there. If you're from the area, obviously you know a lot about it, but the rest of the United States, we all know something about Indianapolis. If you're from another country and not from the United States, you just know that there's a big race that goes on there once a year. That's pretty much it. India is also known as the crossroads to America and the railroad city. It was a major rail hub throughout the Civil War, and I mean, even beyond that. During the American Civil War, Indianapolis was mostly loyal to the Union's cause. Governor Oliver P. Morton was a major supporter of President Abraham Lincoln, and that quickly made Indianapolis a rallying place for the Union Army. Today, the Indianapolis metro area has just just over 2 million residents, making it the 34th largest metro area in the US. There's a lot of people moving to Indy lately, and I'm not sure why. If you're one of those people thinking about moving to Indianapolis, you should watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Indianapolis, Indiana. Number 10. Bedbugs. Before moving to the city, you'll need to find a really good exterminator. This is because Indianapolis is ranked as the third worst in the nation for bedbugs. Now that's according to WTHR.com. Some ways you can protect your house from bedbug infestation is by checking secondhand furniture you may have bought and for any signs of pests, getting a mattress encasement thing, and reducing clutter so the bedbugs don't have many places to hide. They're just like my wife. They won't live in a place with a lot of clutter. Unless, of course, it's the bathroom sink. Believe it or not, pests are one of the most researched things when people are relocating. Why do you think so many people left Detroit? Rats. Oh, and the fact it had no jobs and it was incredibly dangerous. Number 9. The Weather Indianapolis has some pretty crazy weather patterns. During the winter, temperatures drop into the 20s and stay there for a while and they even go lower. While in the summer, they get up around 85 degrees and stay there for a while. Although, that doesn't sound terrible. The humidity is really bad here. The humidity is the worst since it prevents the city from getting any kind of breeze on those summer nights. The summers here are kind of rough. Wear sunscreen. They also get tornadoes. Very rare, but they get them. Number 8. Public Schools Indianapolis public schools are not the ones you want to be sending your kids to. If at all possible, you should probably either send them to a private school, drive them to a nearby town with a better school district, have them watch Cartoon Network all day. The results will probably be similar to that of a public school education in Indy. As of this year, the district's graduation rate has dropped to a very low 83%, while the rest of the state is about 88%. That's not the best. However, Indianapolis has made some great improvements. Since the graduation rate in 2006 was about 47%. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Number 7. Public transit. There's so much wrong with the Indianapolis public transportation system, I could make a series of three half-hour videos on it. Indiana is one of the least eco-friendly states. Just within Indianapolis, nearly 78% of the residents drive alone to work, while only 5% take public transit. One likely reason for this is it may not be readily available like in other major cities. Indianapolis only has public transit buses. No light rail, no subway, no jet packs, nothing. They do have Amtrak and Greyhound buses, but you Chances are you won't be taking those every day, because once you take one of those out of town, you fight tooth and nail not to come back. Number 6. Racism. While most of the country really frowns upon racism, it's very much alive in Indianapolis. The city still sees far too many hate crimes every single year. Although it's a major problem in the city currently, officials are taking steps to reduce racism and hate crimes for the future. Recently, the Central Indiana Community Foundation imposed a five-year plan for the city called Inclusive City. By this, they're hoping to better the lives of the residents regardless of race, identity, socioeconomic status. Hopefully, that'll make some progress. Number 5. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway If you don't already love car racing, maybe you shouldn't move here. The city is home to the Indy 500 as well as NASCAR's Brickyard 400 and a whole bunch of other little races. You'll know when the next race is within months. You'll start seeing and hearing ads for it everywhere and all your neighbors will be talking about it and they'll probably invite you over to watch the race. There's no escaping it. You better read up on it in advance so you got something to talk about with your neighbors. It's a big deal here. And stop typing. We know you live in Indy and you've never 
never heard any ads, seen anything about those races. You don't like racing and you never see anything about it. I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. If you were about to leave that comment, I'm here to tell you this. You are lying or you're the only person who has ever lived off the grid in a major city. Congratulations, you pulled it off. Number four, the water smells bad. As of right now, the tap water in Indianapolis is safe to drink by government standards. However, it still smells horrible, which is always refreshing. In addition to the smell, there's the potential for contaminants that could possibly cause cancer. Now, the local government says that the water is fine, safe to drink, safe to bathe, and there's no cause for alarm at this time. At this time. So, sounds like it's doing okay right now. It just stinks. I mean, who doesn't want water you can smell? I mean, think about it. Have you ever taken a drink of something thinking it's, say, like a soda, and then it turns out to be water and you almost choke? Yeah, never worry about that here. The smell will tip you off well in advance. Number three, it's in Indiana. Indiana's a flyover state and it's flyover state for a reason. Nothing really exciting ever happens here except for maybe a bunch of wheat and blueberry farms, if you consider that exciting. Everyone heads to Indianapolis for excitement. The only thing is, there really isn't anything worth getting excited over. You better like sports or maybe something like female truckers fighting in truck stop parking lots. I mean, but really about the trucker chicks. I mean, come on, who amongst us? Number two, murders. According to the New York Times.com, Indianapolis ranks 27th for the highest murder rate in the country. Indianapolis has seen a four year streak of rising homicides. They first broke the record of 143 that was set in 1996 in 2015 with 144 people being murdered. That record again was broken in 2016 with 149 people murdered. And in 2017, they lost 157 people. And not wanting to, you know, give up on their streak, in 2018, 159 people stepped into the light in the city of Indianapolis. Thankfully, law enforcement is, you know, hopefully going to turn around in 2019. The numbers are kind of down, so hopefully it's a good thing. But they're reaching out to the community and really focusing on keeping each other safe. They need to do something. It's been getting really bad there. And number one, the rising population. Indianapolis has a population of about 863,000 residents and rising. Now, I told you earlier they got 2 million. That's for the whole metro area. This is just the city of Indianapolis. The population density is about 2,365 residents per square mile. There are places in Iowa where they have one or two people per square mile. Although recently it's kind of slowed down the growth pattern for the city, it's still expected to gain another 15 to 20% by the year 2030. The city is expected to be responsible for up to 65% of the state's population by then. When you have stinking water, race issues, and no real transit system, why would you move here? Maybe there's a cheap mortgage in your future. Who knows? Maybe people move there for some government program that lowers your student debt. You know, nobody likes those uh, school loans. Maybe they're helping out with that. Who knows? But people are still moving there, and I don't understand why. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to Indianapolis. Hope you guys got some information out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, here's the thing about people from Indiana. They're decent people. Sure, the ones that are out murdering each other wouldn't be considered decent people. The people of Indianapolis and the people of Indiana are good people. I've never had a problem with them. Don't forget all the links below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other. <laughs>